Well, I've been wanting a stump, a forming stump for some time. Uh, but I've been kind of lazy about it because honestly, I, I don't like wood. It's strange and foreign to me. I've been looking for a good way to shrink, to really shrink deep in a panel. Um, you know, I have the Lancaster shrinkers back there that are good for doing channels and drip rails and stuff like that. But I, what really opened my eyes is one day I found a guy stump shrinking on YouTube and he had a really big mallet and a big bowl cut into a stump and he was shrinking faster than anything I've ever seen. I'll put the link on, on my channel or something and it just, it just blew my mind. Uh, and I thought, who needs a yoder when you've got a chunk of wood? So my buddy Dave brought this uh, wood back with him from Pennsylvania. Um, this top stump here is uh, oak. So this is what we're going to make the top out of, nice and hard. Um, you know, you want to bang on the end grain like that. So in good shape. The bottom one is a chunk of poplar, I think. So it's pretty soft and pretty light. That I'm just going to use to get the height. Um, and it's also just another shock absorber you know, to help keep the sound down. So definitely want a hard wood. I kind of played around with the two and just banged on them a little bit with a hammer. And uh, definitely a big difference in hardness between the two. Um, we're going to make a stand and put this thing on wheels because I can't have a monument in the, uh, in the garage. I've got enough monuments, you know, the tubing notcher and the lathe and things like that. So this sucker has to be mobile. Uh, hopefully we can get it up on casters and uh, it still be stable and not noisy. So I have some, some angle iron left over from some other project that we'll put on that bottom stump there. I think make some kind of make some kind of bracket for it and then I bought some uh, casters from the Chinese vendor store that shall not be named. But they have horrible freight, but um, just little cheap $3 casters. So we'll start, I think I'll put the stump up on the table and all these pieces of steel are a little on the short side, but it's just what I have laying around, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here's our really fancy frame. Uh, just These pieces are just long enough here to basically wrap around this this bottom stump and I just have this one long rail I'm going to just cut it off and uh, we'll be in business just I'm just going to use the uh, uh, squirt gun the MIG welder to weld this thing together it doesn't have to be too fancy I'm just going to weld the casters on
Okay, so we have our stump sitting here, mounted on our little cart. And uh, next thing we have to do is put a depression here for shrinking. And uh, typically guys put a round, it's pretty round. Um, I've seen all kinds of sizes from just a little bit larger than your mallet to, you know, huge dishes, I don't know, 12 inches in diameter or so. So I'm gonna kind of split the difference and do an eight inch diameter bowl so we want to stay out of this. This is the softer part of the wood here, right? And it's really nice and hard there in the center, but I want some room also to be able to just have some flat, softer surface to uh, hammer on. So we'll stay a little bit away from the edge and uh, make a bowl here with the compass. Well, that goes right almost to the center of the stump. I'll go back over this with a marker. Oops. So. There we are anyway, general circle. And I'm just going to make the bowl with a good old stone on my little angle grinder. I'm sure There'll be some wood guys out there that are going to cringe, but that's okay because I see wood guys do things that make me cringe uh, to metal. So, um, and then maybe we'll go back and we'll finish up with a knotted wire wheel to kind of knock the surface smooth. It doesn't have to be a hemisphere, of course, it just has to be a little bit of a depression. So, um, it doesn't need to be that deep to make a tuck. Here's our oak forming stump all done. Um, I, uh, I made one large bowl. Turns out the grinder didn't work at all uh, as far as removing this much material. So I used the uh, circular saw, the skill saw. Uh, it's a seven and a quarter, and this diameter here is nine inches. And I set it to the full depth, which was like two and a half inches. And um, you know, you just cut it like a pie, like a pizza. You just keep going around, around, around. So you have small slivers and then use the chisel and knock it out and then I actually did use the knotty wire wheel on the uh, grinder to kind of smooth it out and just sanded it and um, this thing's pretty deep and pretty pretty massive so then I made a smaller one over here um, that's used with the same seven and a quarter blade so it's pretty shallow by the time you get the diameter down this small um, but I thought that would be handy and uh, Kind of what I've noticed messing around with it is that uh, the smallest part that you can shrink is the radius of this bowl, right? So here's something I did just real fast. It's um, 3003. Um, it was half hard. I annealed it and uh, just really fast. This thing shrinks like a maniac, but uh, you quickly reach the minimum that you can do, right? Um, and actually this shallow guy doesn't help you a whole lot either for that particular problem. So, um, but still, that is an amazing amount of shrinking. Still has all the walnuts, I haven't planted it or anything, but that is a huge amount of shrinking. And I mean, we're talking just, just minutes. So, and this is, this is pretty, pretty thick, heavy duty stuff. So, <clears throat> not going to do any sheet metal work yet. Um, would like to go on and make some other things first. Um, so we have, I think we have the shrinking thing in hand. 
I'm still not happy with all my planishing solutions, so we're going to work on that a little bit next.